to realize and so yeah i am only six miles away from from this my my dream a, a my dream was when i was in colombia was disconnect between these live two here places. to live here know them the my, my my heroes me i i knew my heroes uh, live here especially in new york <laughs> was the, the last, the last I came here uh, in almost 10 years ago, ten, in, in 2007. came by myself, but I um, struggled a lot for the first couple of years, but eventually I got into college and I did all my studies in music at Queen's College. that why don't we uh, move instead of back and forth and both me and my daughter we were missing uh, being with him when i was moving here i wasn't even sure that there was going to be an opportunity for me here came here without any idea that i would come here and live here because i guess i didn't have the brains to understand why am i flying to another place from hong kong at that age because i didn't know why i was here my idea was like, I want to go to New York, I want to go to New York. I didn't have any idea what New York was. Because I didn't know why I was here. I started to, to work uh, in, a, in a restaurant, uh, in the dishwasher. I did that uh, for four months. I came to the U.S. because everything sounded fantastic. Everybody was very enthusiastic and very involved. The first time that I went to Corona, walking out of the train in Manhattan was a, a weird shock, cultural shock, to realize I am only six miles away from, from this, and there's a, a thousand miles culturally of disconnect between these two places. And in 2008, <laughs> uh, I went to the U.S., I came to the U.S., and toured three cities, uh, Fort Wayne, and New York, and Boston. I really, really wondered um, how I can continue my music activities in the U.S. I have to quit my activities in Japan. And um, by the time we, we started came by myself. coming here, but um, I struggled I a lot there. for the first couple of years. Yeah, but I came to New York, I did all the We moved to, to New York. I would say a pressure of music. So we thought, uh, why don't we uh, move instead of back and forth? And both me and my daughter, we were missing uh, being with him. Uh, that's how we got here. So I teach to him every day about that, about look at this, look at that, all these. I started playing so music as a child. On their list. It uh, seemed pretty natural to me this thing to come to the States music. to study music. My first instrument was piano. At the same time, I started to, to teach in, in music schools in, in, in so here I in teach to him every Jackson day Hikes. About that, about look at this, look all these deserve respect. We grew up always with the idea that we couldn't do it. It was just 
not possible. And then seeing kids that looked like us, that had the same challenges and difficulties that we had, were doing it. I thought uh, that was not enough for me, just to study at the uh, university. So I had the idea of, of as I said, to, to start working with uh, Guatemala and the community. I thought community. Uh, that was not enough for me just to study at the uh, university. Because I, uh, by the time I was working on my, on my second book. While I was here, actually, I became very interested in, in starting a program with the uh, Guatemala and immigrant community here in New York. I always wanted to do it, and I never had the chance to. I was never afforded. We grew up always with the idea that we couldn't do it. It was just not possible. And then seeing kids that looked like us, that had the same challenges and difficulties that we had, were doing it. Many books, oh well, library books as well, uh, how to read music. About 15 to 20 years of learning is a very normal process before. I thought uh, uh, ready to that was street. not enough for me just to study at the We grew up always university. with the idea that we couldn't do it. It was just not so possible. I to him and then seeing kids that looked like that. us, well, that well, had the same that. challenges in the facilities that, that we had, were doing it. That idea of you cannot do it, we cannot do it, it's so ingrained in our culture, in our psyche, that it's really, really, really serious. I still keep listening and I still learn a lot. Maybe it's never too late to learn music. and find a common language that we could speak. Music is the only thing that is not bound by words. And find a common language that we could speak. We cannot express everything we feel with words because words will limit you back. Because I have a Japanese heritage, I probably can express more things through this music. So I have to actually compare my instrument to a sitar to make them understand what it is. And trying to have my music speak to them, that's a challenge. Last year, actually, I published a book for kids. So at this specific time, what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm translating that book into Spanish. I'm translating that book into Spanish. So it takes me a, a lot to make a version in Spanish. Believe it or not, the translation is not easy. And trying to have my music speak to them, that's a challenge. Translating, I say, mm, how you would say this? And I would say I was lucky enough to find uh, musicians from other styles to be able to work with them and find a common language that we could speak. Music is the only thing that is not bound by words. I thought I could do something with my music, but differently. I, even with my traditional background, I thought 
I would be able to play Carnatic music, maybe not in the sense what I was doing back in India, but something with a different take, with a different dimension. How do officers manage all these images we see after a you know, regular, ordinary day of work? What do they do to get this out of their heads? That's because for me, I have, uh, I got turned to music. Music is the only thing that is not bound by words. Because I have a Japanese heritage, I probably can express more things through this music. So I have to actually compare my instrument to a sitar to make them understand what it is and trying to have my music speak to them. That's a challenge. We cannot express everything we feel with words because words will limit you back. So you change. People change day by day or even hour by hour. You notice it. You get old. You, you talk different. I would definitely say this is uh, really a God-given gift and find a common language that we could speak. Thank mm -hmm. you.
and then I decide to stay. I have created a place for myself here. But maybe uh, for a while uh, we are staying in New York and we will be direct to continue um, our musical adventure in this city. Since that time, uh, since uh, that time, I, I have lived li li here con 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 continuously and um, trying to, to make a living with the music, but uh, it's not too easy. Yeah, that was very tough. Well, mostly, you know, to tell your mother on the phone, you know, Mom, I'm not coming back. I just want to see how, how I can do it here. And then I decide to stay. I decide to not come back. No, I am settled here. The reason is because my son is, is here with me. He's studying. Uh, uh, I want to, to, to give uh, support to him. And then I decide to stay. I decide to not come back. No, I am settled here. But I am looking for new opportunities. Each of opportunities is really, really important for us. Why should all the world-class cultural institutions be based in Manhattan? My dream is that 20, 30 years from now, we're going to have a world-class professional level community orchestra residing in Corona. My name is Harold Gutierrez. I am a Colombian professional musician living in New York since 2000. My name is Rafael Leal. I am from Colombia. Uh, I am a drummer, percussionist. My name is Niveda Dashavraj. I am a Carnatic musician. Okay, uh, my name is Hikaru Tamaki. Uh, I'm a cellist. Well, my name is Kakit Yip. I like to go by the name of Chris. My name is Yoko Reika no Kimura. Uh, Yoko Reika no Kimura is my stage name. But I am looking for new opportunities.